Hi, I live in a suburb of Houston, Texas, and today is January the 14th, 2014, and I recently found out that I have Chinese drywall. Um, the reason why I'm doing this, it's not because I'm the expert, it's because I had no idea what was going on with my house. My house was built in 2006, and I'm just trying to get the word out there because the majority of the people that I have talked to about this, they have had no idea what Chinese drywall is. So. If you want to look into Chinese drywall, you can get on your computer, go to the search engine, type in Chinese drywall. Um, this one has to, happens to be Wikipedia, and what it's saying is that uh, Chinese drywall is defective drywall manufactured in China and imported to the United States during or starting in 2001. Um, it emits toxic chemicals that uh, like carbon disulfide, carbonyl sulfide, and hydrogen sulfide. And what these chemicals do is they corrode the metals in your house. So uh, what started happening with me to let me to look further into Chinese drywall is I started having major problems with my air conditioning units in 2009. And uh, Jody Goins with Goins AC and Heater, he actually came in and replaced both of my evaporator coil units. And um, he had replaced the upstairs unit twice. And when he got around to replacing the downstairs evaporator coil for the second time, he looked further into it and he said there has to be something wrong with my house because the unit looked like it had been sitting on a beach for five years or so. So that got me into searching what would cause an evaporator coil to corrode. So that's what led me to Chinese drywall. Um, another good website that you can go to is um, China, or defectivechinesedrywall.com. It's going to give you a lot of information of what you can do, and um, this is actually where I found the inspector to come in and look at my house to tell me if he thought that my house was showing the signs of Chinese drywall. His name is Bob Lovelace, a very nice man, so what happened is he came over here. He spent um, quite a few hours uh, looking around the house. What he did is he removed the face plates from my outlets. I uh, checked to see you're gonna, your ground wire is supposed to be the color of a penny. And um, if you have Chinese drywall, it's mostly going to be blackened with uh, some black powdery substance coming off of it. Uh, after I had him come over, which he stated that looking through my house, my house showed the signs of having Chinese drywall. I went to, or he referred me to a lady that would come in. Her name is Linda Lover, and she did destructive testing on my sheetrock. So uh, now I'm gonna show you pictures of what was going on with my house and what to look for. So what you're looking at right here is the inside of my evaporator coil that Jody took out and um, it's a little bit blurry, but if you look right here, it's, um, you could rub your finger across that and it would just disintegrate. So you can tell that it's just, uh, it's corroding pretty badly. If you go to the second picture, this is the outside of the evaporator coil and um, these guys right here, these half moon um, bolts, if you want to call them that, they are also supposed to be the color of a copper penny. You can see how blackened they are. So uh, that's a good indication of Chinese drywall. If, again, one of the first things that is going to happen to your house is that your air conditioning system is going to start having problems and you're also going to see a lot of corrosion of metals. So whenever Bob came into the house, he actually, whenever he was pulling the face plates away from, uh, from the outlets, you could see that, um, like there's the ground wire, you can see that this is mostly what the color should be like, but that it's darkening right there. Now anybody can t remove the face plate, pull that back, but don't be stupid and go and stick your finger in there or any metal <laughs> objects. Have an inspector do it, or if you just want to pull that back and look at it, and if you see some signs, then I would have an inspector come in. So the next picture, this is um, the dryer outlet, if you want to call it that, and you can see the ground wire is completely black. Moving on to the next picture. Again, like I said, that is not my finger. I did not do that. So uh, that's the inspector's finger, but you can see that when he rubbed his finger over the ground wire that some black soot came off. The next picture that I'm going to show you, so uh, other corrosion that will happen in the house, 
Um, this is actually the shutoff valve uh, for one of my commodes, and you can see the pitting that's going on here and the rust that's happening around it. All right, moving on to the next picture. So, let me actually, hold on one second. So when Linda and her team came in, and yes, I actually paid for them to cut all these holes in my house, believe it or not, but uh, what happened is she came into the home with her team, and uh, she, what she was looking for was uh, she needs a wall that is at least eight feet long, and there's no plumbing behind it. And so an interesting story behind this, when she first came into the house, the room right to the right is my dog's room. Yes, I have a dog's room, but um, anyhow, I used to have an English Mastiff, and at the time she weighed about 160, 170 pounds, and got something in her so she was jumping from couch to couch and with her inertia i couldn't stop her her head ended up bashing into the wall and putting this hole that you see right there so sad that that happened to the dog but it was a good thing whenever linda came into the house because they had a boroscope which is an instrument that actually has a camera that they stick up into the wall and they immediately saw signs markings of chinese drywall so i'll go back to the other picture so right here is um, the holes that you saw them taking out. These are the pieces of the sheetrock that they pulled off. One of the distributors that uh, the builders were importing from is Knopf. And you can see their name written across there. And then Linda, after she found that, uh, she sent that off for inspection. So I'll go on again back to my dog because this was found immediate, immediately. She actually saved me $900, so God bless her, but that's what my dog did. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to show you, talking about metals in the house being corroded. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is a silver ring, and you can see how badly tarnished it is. And what I'm going to do, did you catch that? Okay. All right, yeah, so, so I'll show you again. You can see how corroded it is. I'm gonna put it in a silver cleaner and just let it sit there for a couple of seconds. And then when I take it out, before I even take something to it to wash it off, you can see how much better it is. Wow. Okay, and just remember that the date today is 1-14-2014. And um, I'm gonna keep showing this ring because I'm gonna keep posting and letting everybody know what's going on with my house. So the last thing that I wanna talk about is that um, I actually have met up with a lawyer and um, he's trying to get me in on a suit where Knopf settled, uh, I believe it was the end of October, 2013, and they're trying to get me in on the back end because they're saying that I, if I had known that I would have been included in on this settlement. So that's, pretty much what I have to tell you and I will keep you updated on what's going on with the house and um, just people out there if you know somebody that's home was built and uh, just to give you the dates again they found the first uh, I guess the first Chinese drywall in 2001 or it first started being imported in 2001 and um, it was really rampant between 2004 and 2008 because of the hurricanes that went through Florida, uh, Louisiana all the rebuilding that had to be done there and because of the housing boom in um, around 2006 which is when my house was built so if you know of anybody that has homes that they're either renting or they had built during that time please share this with them so that they can look into it because i know how incredibly frustrated i was not knowing what was going on with my home and maybe this can help them so thank you